Hello and welcome back. I'm Evil Rabbit and we are here on Forza Motorsport 7 to do something a little bit different today. I've done it before on the channel, but we're going to start a series kind of out of it here on Forza Motorsport 7. Basically, will it and make it drift. Episode 1 here, we will not be using that map field S14 because we do know that drifts. So the way I'm going to do this is I believe I have two cars that I can get through rewards. We're going to go and use a random reward and use the car that we can get in that reward from skill points and all that stuff to see if we can and make it drift, whether it be all-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, or whatnot. So a whole different twist on doing drift cars, building it up, going through the tuning and everything like that just to see how it works. This way, you know, I can uh, expand my horizon and try drifting more. You know, I would love to rip Matt Field's car right now, just staring at it right there, but we're not going to do that today. So we're going to go see we have two rewards so hopefully one of these cars will be something we can make drift so we have the mclaren m8b which uh i don't know if that's going to be a good choice so we have this one to choose from today or we have whatever the next car is going to be and that is a koenigsegg agera oof well i guess we're going to be trying to build a koenigsegg to drift because I don't think the other car will drift very well at all but we are going to build that Koenigsegg so we're gonna have to hop into it and get it and uh, well just try and send it so the Koenigsegg 2011 Agera and uh, well this is gonna be interesting so we gotta go we're already rear wheel drive so we're gonna try and pr well we're not gonna really add arrow don't need it what tires are we on? We're on stock. Okay, so we're going to go up to sport tires just because uh, I can already see the power that is in this car, which is a 1,000 horsepower, I believe. Oh, my. Or 995. So we're going to go up to, say, a 275 in the front. And then we're going to go as wide as possible in the rear, 355, which is already on the car. I believe we're going to leave the stock wheels on there for now. And uh, now we just got to get into nitty gritty of installing parts, which it looks like a lot of this is already installed. Except the diff. We are going to need a diff. And I do not think we will be able to put drift suspension on. We can. Oh, man. This might make this a little bit easier. We can get drift suspension on this car. We are at 995 horsepower. So we're going to leave the horsepower at as it is. Because, well, that's just how it came. And it's already really light with a lot of performance stuff added. I don't think we can add more power to this. I think this thing's pretty much strung out unless we get to turbos and we have, oh, so we can go over a thousand horsepower. Are the turbos upgrade? Oh God, we can go even higher. Um, oh my gosh, this car can go so much higher. So we're gonna leave it at 995 for right now and uh, see how that works, and then we will go from there. So it is already mid-engine rear wheel drive. So now we're gonna have to tune this thing up. We're gonna drop our tire pressures down a lot to try and get some grip. 22 and probably 20. We'll leave the gearing because we're not sure how that's gonna work. I'll leave all of that. We're gonna dump in some rear toe, throw a caster all the way up. I said all the way up. Any roll, I think we're going to soften it just a smidge. And then I believe we are going to soften the springs up, make it a little bit spongier. It's already very low, but we're going to probably drop it even lower. I don't even know how, uh, we'll just go all the way. It's probably not the best set, but we are going to go try this first and adjust it from there we're gonna drop down our brakes for more of a tandem style brake and we will kick this up to 75 kick this up to 40 we'll leave that like that so um probably the best car we could have picked 
because I don't know if we could have put drift suspension on that race car. So I'm trying to think of where I want to go drifting, and I feel like we should probably just go to Dubai. Dubai sounds good to me. We're going to throw this car at Dubai, and, uh, well, see how it runs. All right, so we have the base tune and everything on this car. We are at Dubai. We are... Uh, are going to see how this goes here on Dubai. We're gonna run some third person and some first person. So we're gonna switch it up to uh, third person first. And we're gonna send it here on Dubai and see how this Agera on the first will it make it drift episode. Uh, I'm just gonna send it. And uh, surprisingly, it's uh. It's drifting? It's drifting actually very well. Oh, I looked away for two seconds. Mm, no. So we got the wheel cam turned on. Digital dash, Fanatec, energy wheel. We're gonna send this car in third person and in first person. Send it in third person first. A little donut, a little uh, tire burn I have a feeling this is actually going to uh, either go horribly wrong or horribly well we're gonna find out since we initiate in um, I'm thinking horribly well Longy break we'll feather the break oh we got it this Agera is definitely uh, definitely sliding and it is actually drifting very well. Quite impressed with this for the basic tune that we threw on this car. Drift suspension, 995 horsepower. <laughs> Nothing, let's go. So this is definitely, oh, almost, almost biffed it. This is definitely very fun and exciting for me right now. There were just tires, right? Fun and exciting to do this, to be building cars like this that I wouldn't normally build into a drift car build them into drift cars here on these episodes so if you guys keep wanting to see this series here on the channel let me know down in the comment section down below i would appreciate the feedback and the support but i feel like this car is actually uh she slides supercar drift builds hypercar however you want to call it free car from our racing and stuff like that is how I want to do this. That way it's a random car. It could be all wheel drive, it could be rear wheel drive, it could be mid engine, it could be a supercar or a race car. But the goal of this series is to do crazy drift builds on all different kinds of cars, whether it be all wheel drive and it be some all wheel drive drifting. Um, front wheel drive, hopefully we'd be able to convert those cars to rear or all at least. And rear biased it. We did graze that wall though. But matting the throttle down and just holding left foot brake down what ah uh, I got greedy because I was so confused I was half on brake full on throttle just running the front of that wall yep this car slides she slides she slides real nice actually I bet I can't drift one of these in ESDA or SSR. I feel like, uh, I feel like the uh, tire width is way too high up there, but this car handles. I'm gonna need to get some tandems with this car, thank you. I need to get some people in here, maybe do some hypercar tandems. If that's something you guys would be interested in, let me know, because this car is uh, just getting it. Oh. oh, my buddy, Charles is online. Too bad he doesn't do drifting, otherwise we'd get a dual Fanatec drift set up in here. Get him online and do some uh, Fanatec stuff. So now we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna switch the cameras around. So we are gonna have to switch the car up and then uh, switch this camera down here so that the drift cam is not impeded. 
Somebody did comment that on one of my other videos where I was rocking the drift cam. So, first impressions on this car in third person, it gets it. Let's see how we do in first person because still definitely not used to the drift camera at all because of it looking where it wants to and not where I want it to. Uh, I don't know how we saved that. We didn't wreck the car. I would not want to try and do that again. Little dirt drop. So, I challenge you guys to try this car. Get this car, throw what exactly what I got on there, on there from the video, and uh, give this a car chance yourself. I'm trying to save the car. I know it's, I know it's game. I'm trying to save this million dollar, millions of dollar car. Oh, as I say that, we go right into the wall. Oh, but I think a successful drift build here for today. We had the choice between this car and the other race car with that little open cockpit, big wing race car. I think we made the right choice with choosing this Agera. So, it's being light on the throttle. Little throttle blip to get ourselves sideways. I probably didn't need to use handbrake there. The car was already rotating. I could just use brakes like this. I'm just letting the wheel go. This car handles so good. Give this car a try for yourself. It handles so nice right now. Actually very impressed with how it's handling. Lay on the brakes. A little left foot brake action. Get off the gas. Too much brake. We saved it, but we'll clutch kick it back in. We saved the car somewhat. Clutch kick it back in. Transition ourselves back this way. Stay close to that yellow if we can. So, very successful day here in the Sagara. Definitely gonna be uh, maybe tweaking this tune a little bit more, but I'm quite happy with it. Just grazing the front bumper. It's all good. It's nothing but a thing. So we do that, and the Cam freaks out. We saved it though. Is that like a 90 degree reverse straight line sideways entry? Don't know what I'm doing kind of slide. As I flick my wrist around the wrong way. That was uncomfortable. So, if you guys want to see more episodes like this on channel, make sure you tap the like button, subscribe. I do appreciate all the support and all of you guys' comments. I do try and reply and read every single comment. Something I'm striving to do. So, if you guys have any other ideas for a way to do these random drift builds, let me know down in the comments. I'm very up for opinions on that, but I feel like doing the prize cars is definitely a good way to do this because then the cars are totally random. We did get some new cars and stuff that I might want to try and build, but uh, I'm just having a blast in this gear actually. So, as always, I like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I do appreciate all the support, and as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out. Probably have tires. This thing just slides so nice. All tap. Oh, I missed it.